All right. Yeah, this is a family road trip. You can see my daughter and her new husband back there. My son is hiding behind me and my husband there, not noticing that we are videoing and I'm doing a full tutorial, starting with my Royal Foundation. You guys, this is Jaffra's Royal Radiance Foundation that I love, especially if I'm trying to achieve full glam in a car and I need to use my hands and fingertips for application. I mean, you could definitely use your brush or your beauty blender when in the car, um, I guess. I don't know how you'd get your beauty blender wet, but whatever. Anyway, the thing is, I'm putting it on with my fingers, as you can see, and I normally like to do this anyway. Um, you can see, cause I can bring it down the neck. I can smush it into those lines and wrinkles around my mouth and tap it in. All right, Jaffra Royal Translucent Powder, amazing stuff. I lost my powder puff that goes in here. So thank God I had this crusty old beauty blender in my makeup bag. So I'm applying it with a sponge. It's not really crusty, that was a joke. But anyway, you could use a brush if you wanted. Um, absolutely, I, I usually prefer a brush. Oh, and I usually prefer that the phone doesn't fall over when videoing. But anyway, I went ahead and put on the powder over my whole entire face using the little sponge. Yep. Right through the center is the most important part. And like I was going to say before the camera fell over due to my husband's fabulous driving skills, um, I do prefer a large brush for my powder. I like to get a really light sheer layer of powder. Um, but for today, this is going to work for me. Uh, sometimes you just got to use what you got. So I'm digging around in my bag. Uh, definitely looking for everything because I have at this point a plastic bag with my makeup in it. So, you know, family road trip glam at its finest, my friends, at its finest. So you can see now we are stopping at some stoplights. We're actually in Las Vegas, Nevada at this point. I'm showing you my contour palette there. That is my own brand, The Beauty Bar. Um, the Beauty Bar Skincare and Makeup Studio is located in Yuma, Arizona, where I have my beautiful team. And so we love to brand some of our own products there. Now, as you can see, I'm doing contour underneath my cheekbones. And starting at the hairline, I always fade toward the nose, just trying to add that dimension under my cheeks, but not too much. And I do prefer powder contour. Oh, my daughter needs her glasses. Perfect timing, kid. All right. I do prefer powder contour because it's easier to get on. I don't like doing all the cream stripes that tend to settle into my lines and wrinkles. So you can see I'm going around my forehead. I've already done underneath my cheekbones. And I'm just doing the outer perimeters of my forehead, keeping it darker towards the hairline. I fade toward the nose and now I'm going under my jawline. Don't go on your jawline. You don't need a beard. I'm just going underneath to try to sharpen up that jawline and disguise that little turkey neck I've got working there. So I like to try to shadow it out a little bit and then bring more attention to my chin and jawbone uh, naturally by highlighting it, leaving that area lighter. So I'm doing my best to just really push back and contour or shadow the parts that I don't like or, you know, that I don't want you checking out all the time. Now I'm doing a little bit of blush and you can see I'm putting it right on top of where I've contoured. My husband's still oblivious there, you guys no idea that I'm doing a full-blown tutorial right now but you know I guess somebody's got to pay attention to the Vegas traffic because you know it ain't me and also I want you to notice my slanted blush and contour brush I'm using it's broken it has no handle uh, ask me if I care it's still a great brush and I'm not about to throw that sucker out it's doing a good job unlike myself I was not doing a good job of keeping that camera positioned uh, for optimal viewing, but that's okay because I think you guys are able to see what's going on. So right now I'm just using my contour palette as my eyeshadow. I wanted to try to keep it easy. Yeah, I'm trying to look glamorous. I'm actually on my way to my dad's 70th birthday party here. So I want to look good. I'm going to see people I haven't seen in a long time, but I still wanted to try to keep it easy. So I'm using the deepest shade of brown in my contour palette just to add that depth right in the crease of my eye there. 
That's one of the things I really like to do no matter what your shape of eye is. I like to try to add a little depth right there and create that crease, especially if you've got hooded lids. You can kind of create a little bit of a shadow in there where one doesn't exist. So that's a little trick. But one of the best things that you can do with that is to really make sure it's fading and blending nicely. You can see I'm using the deepest shade underneath. I look like I'm about to poke my eye out right there. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think I've watched myself do a tutorial like this in a long time, so it's kind of funny. Um, but I did use the deepest shade of brown in the crease and then also on the bottom, uh, kind of smoky there. That's what I was doing when I was about to poke my eye out. And I'm just using one big fat brush, uh, not a lot of tools here because already, you know, it's not easy to do makeup when my husband's driving. You could see he's ducking and dodging there. I mean, you can imagine Las Vegas traffic, right? So there I go, blend, blend like a maniac. And I'm bringing it out as far as I can, you guys. That's another really great tip is to bring that eyeshadow out. Don't let it disappear when you open your eye and kind of go into that crease, never to be seen again but bring it out, blend it up towards the brow, and really let it become a focal point. See how I'm elongating right there? I'm bringing out way further than you would think that you should. But it's really gonna help me give the appearance of a larger elongated eye. Blending down on the bottom again. Apparently I love poking out my eyes. And we're off to the races here. So I'm going back in just to blend a little bit more. Right now, at this point, I'm adding a little bit of that orangey colored blush. And trust me, I'm going to move that palette out of the way any second now, I swear. <laughs> I actually will switch products so it won't be in the way. So stick with me, you guys. Just blending it out with my finger. Now, I use my ring finger to blend quite a bit. I think I may have just realized I was blocking my face because I moved it. Oh, you could see I popped my ears there. We must have come down the mountain now. I don't know what my husband's doing over there. I, I don't, your guess is as good as mine on what that was. I think he's eating something. Oh, he's gonna be mad if he sees this tutorial. That's funny. All right, so now I'm looking for a foundation, which I think I have finally found. It's from Jafra's Matte Foundation Collection. I love this foundation because it's really velvety in finish. It's really, it moves with your skin. It's not stiff and dry. And I'm gonna show you a little trick with it that I think you just might like. I don't know what I'm digging for right now. Um, okay, so I've got a little bit of that foundation on the back of my hand. There we go. Oh, I just blocked my face again. Ah, there we go. I, find, I got a clue. Okay, good. So what I'm doing is I took a shade of foundation that was a little bit too light. It was much lighter than I would normally wear on my whole face, but it's just foundation and I'm using it as concealer. One of my most favorite tips for my friends over 40 and especially over 50, if you're finding that concealer ages you and really adds to the lines and wrinkles, just use foundation. There's no reason to use ridiculous stiff concealer if it's not working for you. Women are always asking me, what can I use? This concealer's not working, it's too stiff. And I'm like, girl, quit using it. <laughs> use a nice velvety foundation underneath, maybe in one shade lighter than your foundation if you like it for brightening. But honestly, foundation has great coverage. There's no reason to use concealer. I think we just get stuck in these routines or products that we see you know, influencers or other makeup artists use. And a lot of times, their model has a filter or their model is Jennifer Lopez or their model, you know, is 12, whatever. It's certainly not Jackie Alves, the 50 year old in a car with her family cruising out of Las Vegas to go to her dad's 70th birthday party. So when it is that Jackie Alves, she's going to keep it really nice and soft under the eyes. I, I don't want to look older. I mean, you know, I did when I was 12. I looked a lot older all the time for all the wrong reasons. But you know, it's a new day and I'd like to look younger. So there I go with a little bit of foundation, just popping it on. And I know that you can already see how beautiful that's brightening underneath. And that's really how I keep myself from creasing like crazy. You could use a concealer brush at this point too, if you want. 
uh, but again, I was keeping my tools to a minimum and I really do use my fingers quite a bit. You can really press the product in. I put a little bit on my lip line. I'm probably at this point putting a little on my chin. I tend to get quite a bit of redness there. So I will stack a second layer. Oh God, what happened? Ah, there I go again. I probably had the phone fly into my lap again, but that's okay because we're back from outer space. Don't make me start singing I Will Survive because my friends that know me know I will sing the whole song. So I will spare you. Putting down my palette and now digging for the next weapon in my arsenal. Ladies and gentlemen, I bet it's not going to be a rabbit I pull out. It's not a brush apparently either. I feel like I'm watching this for the first time. What am I even looking for? Um, I don't know. I bet you, I bet you I'm looking for my eyeliner. Let's see, it is. Ah, ta-da! Okay, so check me out. Eyeliner on a road trip, like what? But you guys, this is just a pencil eyeliner. It is black. It's a nice smooth formula, but I'm actually gonna give myself a little bit of a wing just using a pencil eyeliner. I do like liquid sometimes. I love a little inkwell li liquid um, eyeliner that's got almost like a Sharpie tip on it, but I'm not about to try that in this car during this family road trip. So just a pencil and look, I can't even hold the mirror still. So you can tell this was a dangerous attempt for your entertainment purpose. So I hope you learned something today, my friends. I hope to God you try some eyeliner just at least so I can feel like I did something right this time. So I want you to notice I'm keeping it right at the lash line and see how I'm kind of laying the pencil down. I'm not going straight at my lash line. I just kind of lay it down back and forth and I build it up on the outer corner. I get it thicker. That's how I create that little kind of wing liner, that little triangle on the outer corner. Now, don't get me wrong. I say wing liner and I mean like really simple wing liner. I'm not going to pull it out and have a big, long, dramatic wing. I have hooded lids, so it will disappear but I do like to build it up nice and thick on that outer corner and then have it fade toward the nose. So it's not a fat line on those inner corners. It just really disappeared about three quarters of the way over. Now check it out. I'm putting some highlighter from that face palette right on the inner corner, which honestly I should have done that before eyeliner, but I probably forgot on this road trip because I would want the black eyeliner to go on top of the highlighter. But you know, if you be careful enough, it's okay. Like you can, you can finagle anything around, but I love that gold highlighter on the inner corner because it's really going to help my eyes pop and seem much more open and less hooded because I'm highlighting that inner corner. I'm using the gold. It's really adding to that kind of professional level too. It makes it a little more glamorous. Now I've grabbed a smaller eyeshadow brush than I was using before just to pop in a little bit more uh, blending and smoke it out a little. And now I'm going to add some of the white highlighter to this little tiny area of the inner corner. So the gold highlighter went about one third of the way over on my inner corner. And now the silver or diamond color is just really a little more concentrated on that inner smaller area. Now I'm going underneath with the dark brown again, just to add a little more. I noticed that I needed a little more there on the bottom. So I just went back in and popped some more in there. Now I'm trying this brand new lash primer. You guys, this is a tinted lash primer from Jaffer Cosmetics. Obviously I love them. I've been with them for almost eight years now and man, they are good to me. So the products that they have that I love, I use like there's no tomorrow. All right, so I'm putting on this tinted lash primer and I think this is the first time I've ever tried it right here. I brought it with me on this trip because I knew my sister would want some and I decided to use some myself. Now you can see I'm sticking out my tongue and looking pretty weird the whole time and I just want to encourage you, uh, the weirder the face, the better the mascara. So don't, don't feel bad about hanging your mouth open and sticking your tongue out. It just helps with the application process. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting it way down to the root. That's why I just gave you the zombie face right there. 
Oh, you can see my son's little dog's head poking behind me. Oh, he's so cute. All right, back to the lashes. So getting lots of that lash primer on there, but it's tinted and I really like that. It's not that old kind of white one that um, kind of gave me a hard time. I like this tinted one and it's really a uh, smooth application too. I noticed it didn't clump or anything that I was concerned about. Now I'm gonna use the Royal Mascara. This is called the Jaffra Royal Luxe Mascara. And I think the shade is called Dramatic Black. It doesn't really matter because it only comes in one shade, but I'm just saying, I think I like the name Dramatic Black. It reminds me of, oh no, I must've dropped the phone again. This happened way more times than I expected. All right, back to the mascara. So the name is Dramatic Black. It reminds me of Mega Mind. I don't know if any of you have ever seen that movie. It's a cartoon, but my family family's obsessed with it. And at one point, Mega Mind says he loves to wear the, the Black, Black Mamba. Mamba. And that's what Dramatic Black reminds me of. Oh, there was my sunny boy. Popped his head out just for a quick minute. All right, mascara over to the other side. Now this wand is really nice and skinny but it has this crazy ball on the end that I love for separating the lashes out. So if you use the long end, like the um, straight skinny part of the wand to really apply the product, build it up on the lashes, and then begin to use that crazy pointed ball to separate those lashes out, you will be so surprised how amazing this mascara is. And you literally don't have to put a second coat, even without the lash primer, I've never used a second coat of this mascara. It just really gets in and does the job. It's extremely smudge proof, you guys. So huge fan of that, especially, you know, being in my fifties, sometimes I can really suffer from transfer to the bottom with that mascara. You know, it'll transfer or smudge on the bottom. I like this one just really doesn't go anywhere. It looks like I'm getting to lips because that's a lip liner in my mouth, but I'm betting I'm just holding it for a second because I should be doing eyebrows right now. But let's see what happens. I'm digging around. I look like I'm smoking a lip liner for some reason. I don't know what was going on there. Aha, I was right. Brows. So I've got a brow powder here. You can use any brow powder that you like. Honestly, there's a ton of great brands out there and you can even use eyeshadow. If you've got one that matches your hair, just use an eyeshadow. You don't have to have special products for this. This one is cool brunette, so it's a little bit like a grayish blonde for obvious reasons. And I'm just going over my permanent makeup brows here. They're not really microbladed. It was more of a powder brow technique that I got because I wanted it to be soft. But you can see I like to deepen them and add a little extra definition on the days that I'm wearing more makeup. All right, move to the other brow. Same technique, just deepening them a little bit with a little powder. I'm gonna grab a drink of water because man, I've been talking for a minute and a half. Actually 18 minutes to be precise. All right, I'm almost done with the brows. It's actually really easy and it's a great technique, you guys. So I hope you give it a try. Just a little bit of a powder brow. Now I know why I had that lip liner in my mouth because I was trying to hold it to the side. I had scored when I found it. So this lip liner is the shade Nutmeg and it's from the Jaffra Beauty Collection. And I love this specific formula because it's really long wear. It doesn't bleed into the lines in my lips or around my mouth. I can get it to stay, but honestly, I have no idea how I'm accomplishing this. You guys see that little cross that hangs from my rear view mirror, how it's just going crazy right now? That shows you how much we're moving. And I really don't know how I'm able to get those lip lines as precise as I am. See how I'm kind of tightening up my lip line right now though? That really helps me get a lot of product right in the lines. There we go. So I'm really, I'm deepening it. Oh, you can see I made a mistake. I had to wipe it off and start over. So that's a great thing. I'm so glad that just happened, you guys. When you screw up, it's okay. It's just makeup. Wipe it off and start over. So don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid to do your makeup in the car uh, unless you're the driver, though. Please don't do that. I, I did that when I was like 19 and that's when I didn't fear death. Things are different now. <laughs> All right, so I filled it in a little bit just to get a good amount of product because it'll last longer if I put more on and get a better buildup. 
Ta-da, the lipstick. This is actually the Glossy Formula by Jaffra in the shade uh, Praline. That's what it is, I almost forgot. It's a really beautiful, like sheer neutral. Popping my ears again, I guess. I don't chew gum, so I must've been popping my ears. I'm gonna go ahead and do some highlighter on my cheekbones, just at the highest point of the cheekbone. Super pretty, who doesn't love a good highlighter? If you don't love a good highlighter, don't say anything, it's fine. Just don't say anything. All right, a little more, pop, 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 pop it on. I get a little violent there, but you know, I'm artistic. <laughs> I don't treat my clients that way though. I never would like slam highlighter on your face like I just did my own. <laughs> And man, I'm going to town with the highlighter. I don't know what my deal is. There we go, end of the nose. I put like 74 layers on my cheeks. That's unusual for me. I must have been really excited. I don't know why I just got out this big eyeshadow brush. Oh, I'm gonna do just a little extra blending. Maybe I was just feeling fancy because I, I don't know that I needed it. I think it's looking pretty complete. All right. You know what, come to think of it, I don't know that I did. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I did lashes. You guys, this is literally last week and I'm just barely getting to the voiceover for you. So I had forgotten that I did this part. I am a boss. That's all I gotta say. Family road trip, 50 years old, could barely see anymore. And I'm about to rock some lashes. Yeah, buddy. Check me out. I did not realize I was so cool. Just amazing. My daughter still, like nobody even knows I'm doing this. She's back there just eating chips and I think she's got like headphones on. I think her husband did look up at one point and was like, why is my life like this? My mother-in-law's insane. But I mean, he never did say anything. So that's fine. I literally love that guy. Okay. Yep, see, I had to put the glasses on to do the glue. And my friends, if you are like me and you don't see so great, go ahead and pop your glasses back on for this part. Don't, don't do the thing where you're just in a hurry and you really want to just get that glue on because you might get it in the lash itself and you want to keep that glue just on the band. Trust me. I'm going to blow on it a little bit. I got a handy dandy magnifying mirror with me but I really want you to blow on the lash band and get that and put it in the air conditioning vent. I want you to get that glue really nice and tacky. That way it's not super wet and you don't have to fight with it as much. When it gets sticky and tacky, it'll just stick right on. There we go. All right, and these are half lashes, so I only have to put it on the outer corner. Makes it much easier. Oh, I did a good job. Is this, does this part make you guys nervous too? Like, I'm afraid I'm going to poke my eye out at this point. And I was there. Clearly, I didn't lose an eye because I'm okay today. Uh, but it still makes me nervous to watch this. <laughs> I feel like we need some circus music. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, dun, dun. It's, it's like I'm performing death-defying feats before your very eyes. All right, back to the lashes. So I'm using a clear band half lash. You guys, this is super key if you don't like a full glam pop lash. Ta-da! That clear band really helps if you're not great at getting it in just the right place. These are actually, oh, my husband over there texting. Look, unsafe, unsafe driver. I'm giving him a ticket right now. He's in so much trouble. <laughs> All right, so what I was saying about the half lashes, if you don't see so great, that clear band is easier to deal with. You don't have to worry about getting it in the wrong place. These are actually my brand that I'm using, but you can get a whole big fat card of these clear band half lashes on Amazon, super cheap. And I love to do, I love getting the inexpensive ones that you can practice with and you don't feel bad when you mess them up. You can get like a whole card, like eight bucks, I think. 10 sets of lashes on there. These little tiny half lashes with a clear band. 
All right, I'm getting some glue on there. I can tell I'm having a technical difficulty with something. Oh, something is about to go horribly wrong, I can tell. But, you know, check me out. I'm a trooper. I'm in it to win it. All right, closing. I think I'm closing out my lash glue, which is always good before you set it in your lap. Busting out the magnifying mirror, blowing on the lash again. And we're in for application. I, stick, I cannot see you guys. It's so difficult to see, especially because the lighting was not great here. It looks like I made it, sort of. This eye is always harder for me because you see how I'm right-handed and I have to cross my hand over to the other side of my face. But it looks like I did it. And those half lashes do make it easier because you've got less to mess up, I guess. If it's only half the lash, it's half the difficulty. I don't know. All right, looks like I've got it on actually really well. Probably messing with it on the end there. That's usually where I struggle is the end on my left eye because crossing that right hand over is kind of weird. Oh, what happened? What I... I am having some issues, you guys. All right, well, I mean, I guess it's to be expected. There we go. I can tell when I start shoving it up towards my brow like that, like just pushing back on the lashes, I can tell I'm in probably in the clear. Just making sure that outer corner is stuck really good. Yeah, okay. All right, looking good. My husband's putting earbuds in. I don't know how he's gonna hear oncoming traffic or ambulances, but whatever. All right, putting on the glasses, checking it out. So now the reason I wear these huge giant glasses too is because you can see inside of them. Uh, it looks like I'm having issues with the inner corner now, which is pretty common. But see, even me, a pro who's been doing lashes for so many years and puts them on my own self, I still have a little bit of a struggle. So please don't be discouraged if they don't just pop on perfectly. And if you say like, I don't have time for this, that's okay. You don't have to do something like this every day, but give it a try when you're going out. All right, I'm taking my beauty blender and just wiping away. I noticed I had a little bit of highlighter on the bottom. You guys remember how I put the highlighter on the inner corner? Well, it looks like some may have gotten on the bottom. So I wanna make sure I'm not highlighting any wrinkles under my eyes. So I wanna kind of just smudge that away. Just doing any little finishing steps. I feel like I need to just blot or blend. And now the piece de resistance. Yes, the hair always brings it all together. I always like to do my makeup with my hair up. Well, not always, but I try to do my makeup with my hair up because then when I let the hair down, it's like, whoo, everything comes together. Yes. I'm gonna investigate now. I can tell it's pretty serious. Putting to use my investigatory skills. Nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, I must think I'm cool. I gave you a peace sign and a thumbs up. 